right, guys, welcome to episode 37 of Dope Talk TV is yours truly, Low Key Guy John here with me. Yo, We're yo. back with some more content for you guys, man. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking, you know what I'm saying, liking, sharing, subscribing, thumbs up. So guys, don't forget to thumbs up, like the video, drop a thumbs, comment, thumbs, let thumbs us up. know if you're rocking with how we're vibing. And um, yeah, man, that's right. about it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the love, for real, for real. So for shout, real. Out, shout out of the day is to everybody that's been rocking. Man, you nice. know what I mean? You know what we want to shout you guys out. That's love. That's love, man. We all, man. I love the dope talk room, man. I yeah, love facts, man. bro. You guys show love, that ass, bro. like, like behind the scenes, y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all show love, so we appreciate you guys, that ass, for real, for real. But um, but yeah, man, we're back with some more content, John. How you feeling, man? Man, I'm feeling good, man. I'm chilling. Had a couple beers, you know. It's facts. a vibe. It's a beautiful we Saturday cooling, night. Dog. Uh, we cool. You know, we've been vibing, man. It's good. Facts. Fun. Facts, man. Fucking, um, I don't know. There's a couple things that I've been scared of, man, when I think about life, man. In the let's, di- let's, let's dive right in. Oh, I mean, man. let's not dive right in. No, I don't want to dive in. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point, man. I don't want to dive in. I don't in, want bro. nothing to dive nowhere. Nah, for real. <laughs> nah, nah but, for you know. real, bro. It's something that, as guys, bro, we're going to have to worry about as we get older, and it's that fucking prostate exam, dog. Oh. I don't know about that, man. I I don't want anything going, anything like yeah. Like I, I don't want nothing in my yeah. No, yeah. I don't want anything in my rectum either. Don't bro. dry finger me now, like you know. Yeah, like, nah, he's in there. Yeah, don't you know dry finger. You better put some lube up in there and bro, fucking pop it, it in and pop it listen, out. And don't don't ever. I'm gonna tell you what. I don't even want to look at your it, face. It better be a slender woman with slender fingers. No, I'm gonna tell the doctor when I go in there. I'm gonna be like, listen. Bro. When no. I go into the waiting room and I'm waiting for this doctor, find to the see. most petite nurse you have. No, not even that. I or just whoever want, the fuck a doctor. I'm gonna turn around, and look at the wall. I'm not even gonna look at the doctor. Okay, I want you to do. I want him to do his job, do what he has to do, and leave. And I don't even know who he is. Okay, I don't even want to look at his face. I don't want to. That's the only thing I'm gonna remember. For the rest, rest of, of my life, life is that man violating your fucking And who knows? I'm gonna be forty fucking years old. Alright? Who knows how long I got yeah, after that? Nah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Fuck, bro. It's something that we're gonna have to do for real, because it's something that's for your health. But at the same time it's like Nah, bro. Nah. I ain't with the shits. I'm gonna hate like I'm dreading that shit. I'm only twenty fucking five, bro. You know that guy I'm only twenty five and I'm thinking about that now, you dreading know, that shit. No, nah, you, you're gonna be the bro. guy that's gonna be like fucking forty, fifty years old, not even going to the doctor. Your wife is gonna be like, Yo Dog, Go to the doctor I haven't gone to the doctor <laughs> and I don't know bro the last time I broke my wrist I didn't go to the doctor. God, damn. I healed that shit at the house and that's why it's fucked up to this day. Damn that shit hurts. Bibbity bobbity boom. Fuck it, bro. He it broke is. it and he said, fuck it. Nah, I never broke a bone. So. Yeah, it hurts, dog. Nah. It's a different type of pain for sure. Everybody out painful. there that's broke a bone, drop a comment and let us know how bad that shit hurt, bro, because that shit hurt. Nah, bro. I've seen people bust ass. You know what I'm saying? Bro. I never really. I busted ass. Breaking a bone. Breaking a bone is different, man. Okay. That shit, it'll make you want to throw up. <laughs> I swear to God, that's the how pain bad is the so, pain is. Bro, yeah. the pain will make you want to throw up. That Jesus ass. Christ, for real, for real. That's crazy. But yeah, man. Which leads me into my next, my next uh, fucking <laughs> topic, bro. Worst drunk memory. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, nah. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off because your worst drunk memory is a little bit. Nah, you know, lengthier than mine. Let's just let's just say that I'm rolling into a party pretty nice. <laughs> Let's just say about that. You My know, dog is literally nah, rolling. I felt like I was the shit. You know what I mean? Because it was a female. Bro, you always feel like you're the you, shit. You know, I walked into the party head high. You know, because that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, that's nah. right. Yeah, you're supposed to walk into a party head high. Like, yo, I'm here. Like, I'm like, here yeah, to start nah, the party. I'm the, I'm the party. Yeah. The fuck yeah. is wrong with so you? So I walked in. You know, homie. I went to the back of the. the <laughs> you know, <laughs> Shout out Tavy because it was her birthday. Nah, bro. Yeah. You fucking walked around. Yeah. I walked around the porch and I literally like, you know. Guys, the- by the way, I was there. I was sitting in this porch that he walked around to. And I have never seen some shit like this before in my life. Go ahead. Nah. 
And I was walking to the party. I hear everybody in the back. You know, I got my drink. I got my double cup. You know, his I'm drink right. and his two step. Yeah, I got the two step, the two cups. I'm feeling right. I got the henny and the coke, and I'm feeling all right. You know, uh, and I'm going. I'm limping. I'm feeling like a pimp. I'm walking in there, and I see the entrance bars. to the party. I go in, and I'm like, damn, man, it's it's blocked. It's a sofa because you know they put furniture at the party for people to sit down. So they had a front. They, they had a sofa right there. In front of the entrance, a where I usually walk. A full-size couch, by the way, guys. There's people sitting there. I see Hector. I see. I see. I see We're all that. cool. Yeah, I see a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, fuck, what's good, man? I didn't feel like walking around. I didn't feel like going around, back around. I was like, <laughs> so I told these people to move. You know? Literally, my dog made these niggas move. I said, yo, can you? I would have told them to suck a fucking dick. Nah, so I, I told them to move. They moved. You know, I had the cup. I'm still going. You know, I was so drunk. <laughs> that I really thought that I could do a front flip and still hold my cup in my hand and still have the drink in the cup without spilling it. Doing a whole front flip. So I go in and I jump on the couch and I do a front flip and I spill the drink all over my jacket. Like all, literally all over, over my jacket. Over himself. I, I do Fuck a, the I do, jacket. I do Listen. a front flip over the, over the couch. He rolled head first. On this couch. Like, he literally put his head on the top of the fucking couch where you put your back at and try to roll into the fucking party and just <laughs> I literally spilled his whole drink all over his fucking body. I rolled into the party. And I had never seen some shit like that. I didn't know whether to help him laugh, everybody, walk out because I knew him. I don't know. I, I didn't know what to do. It was okay because I knew everybody at the party, so it was all good. So, I'm, they, they all, I like... <laughs> They all, it was all good. It was all good. Everybody I knew fucking saw me. Yeah, everybody I knew saw me. Everybody was like, yo, it's, it's John, bro. Like, he's in there. Like, yo, you, all right, bet. All right, bet. Like, yo. yo shout out to my boy Shamir, bro, because that Shamir nigga's lied. face had me fucking rolling, yeah. bro. You know what? I was like, all right, go ahead and laugh. Don't hit my joint. Nobody wanted to hit that shit to begin with. Yeah, I know. Bad bad shit you had at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was bad bad shit. Hell nah, bro. I remember paying five dollars for a fucking Reggie bar. A oh, fucking Reggie Bush, man. I can't, I can't do it no more, bro. There was one day, I, the last day I smoked Reggie, bro. I had the worst headache in my fucking life, <laughs> and said no more. I swear to God, I said no more. That's but that brings me face. back to my to to our next topic, bro. Like, That's a good segue. Yeah, like back, back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back when you first started smoking, when did you jump off the porch, guys? Go down in the comments and let us know when you first jumped off the porch, when you first started sneaking out, or just acting mischievous. You know, we all have yeah. that age where you're a little rebellious yeah. and you don't want to go home on time, or you may not want to fucking do the fucking homework or whatever yeah, it is that you do. The fuck you let did. us know what it is that you did, man. Yeah. For me. I'm not going to lie, bro. I was kind of a fucking horrible kid. Damn. I was smoking weed and skipping school. That's probably, that's, man, that's probably why you don't want kids. Because, you know, your kids going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, uh, I'm going to I'm I'm reap what I sow. <laughs> no, <bro. laughs> that kid's going to be like, fuck I'm you. A, I'm going to reap what I sow, dog. Yeah. And I know that. Yeah. Nah, dead ass. Because I, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I, I was bad. I started smoking weed at a young age, man, sneaking out, trying to drink and shit. Facts. But it's, some, it's part of, like, finding yourself as a person, too. Like, yeah. you get, I feel like you got to go through that age where it's like, oh, let me try drinking. Oh, no, that's not for me. <laughs> like, fuck that. Let me try smoking. Oh, no, nah, this is it. <laughs> like, nah, bro. Like, your mom your mom didn't even find out you were smoking until, like, five years later. Yeah, bro. <laughs> and that's something that I pride myself on. My name ain't the real low key for no reason, dog. <laughs> low key, dog. I swear to God, bro. On God. Like, she didn't find out about that shit till I was, like, Just five started. years into it. And she didn't even really catch me, nigga. I just, like, got tired of hiding it. And I was like, Mom, nah, I, I smoke. Nah, Jay had a like, smoker's cough when I met him, bro. Yo, dog, at 16, I was already <laughs> puffing, nigga. Fuck is you talking about not? That ass 420 every day. Young Dolph shit. Oh, shit. I'm not for real, dead, bro, bro, but it, it, everybody has their own thing, bro. Like, some people, like, you know, they just sneak out. That's what they do. They just sneak out. Man, like, I did wild shit. I remember hopping into windows. I remember just, <laughs> yo, I remember doing crazy stuff, man, you know? Doing stuff with crazy, like, just doing, yeah. just doing stuff to somebody's daughter, man. Back when I was fucking, <laughs> you know, just, 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 just fucking, just hopping in the window, doing something to what I had to do and leave. Like, I was, I was yeah. like Santa. 
I was yeah. like going in. I was hopping in and out of not really like nah, not chimneys. But I'm like windows. the Grinch. I'm taking. We don't got dipping. chimneys in Florida. Yeah, no nah, facts. But nah, dead ass, bro. <laughs> nah, facts. I remember one time I got caught, bro. I got caught trying to go get some fucking top. Damn, I never got. I never got caught, bro. I was so mad though. <laughs> you know, I like. 15, 16, when your hormones are fucking raging, yeah. and this fucking chick is on your phone sending you pictures talking about come over. I live yeah. a fucking couple blocks down. Yeah. That you sounds, go, that sounds like a blue ball. You sneak out your window, bro. You're yeah. like, oh my god, this is it. Yeah. You fucking walk two houses down, and you hear your fucking mom screaming from your driveway. That shit killed my whole fucking mood That's for crazy. the rest of the fucking week. That sounds like blue pissed. balls for half a day. I was mad. I was like, <laughs> fuck. Fuck. You remember just, you, you remember when Blue Waffle came out? Oh my <laughs> fucking god, dog. That Yo, was the bro. most disgusting shit. It was right up there with fucking uh two girls, two cubs. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever the fuck you remember that Oh my god. Oh, one guy, one That's screwdriver, what? whatever the fuck it was called. The only, I gee, I'd have never seen that. <laughs> The weird shit. That, shit, that no. fucking Will would send us. Yeah. Shout out to Will, dog. Yeah, motherfucker no. be sending some crazy shit. Oh, he's a crazy motherfucker. Yeah. Funny as fuck, though. Yeah. I'm a dog. Yeah, he'll fucking. He's from the <laughs> southern south, brother. Oh, he's from the south part of the south, he's, right? He's from the Billy Bob West. He's from the fucking diggity dog dang <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> city council committee. No, for real. Oh, Put before. you in jail, lock you up for no reason. <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> Nah, nah, shout man. out to Will, though, nah, bro. shout out, man. But yeah, man, that that's crazy, but like, we all had that age where, you know, you're you're finding yourself, you're growing up or whatever, and that brings us to, you know, that's a good segue to the next topic, which is how age makes you change, because I think back to when, you know, I met you when I think I was like, what, 15, 16? Yeah, it was like 15, 16. And yeah. you were like 15 or yeah. 14, some shit, some shit like that. Yeah. And, um, bro. Like, we think way different. We move different. Yeah. We dress different. Yeah. Like, it's just different. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and as the years go on, bro, hopefully we continue to progress and continue to grow and shit. Shit. And, um... The only thing that couldn't progress was my fucking hairline. Nah, we part in the day. Nah, my dog, nah, that's a fact, bro. Nah, I told you to let it go. Nah, Did I not, nah, my? I let it go. I yo, let it go. Ask and you know guy. what? And I you... always try to give him the best advice. I swear to God, yeah, I do. But you know what? I look back and I'm like, man, talking about old times. I'm like, man, like, I don't know how these women thought I was cute. I look like a goddamn. I mean, mother. like, I don't know. It bitch. was just a game. I guess I was just pulling them. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but boy. I remember, man. I, I should have been bald back when I was nineteen. And the, no, that's a fact. And I'm glad you let it go, bro. Because nah, it was, it was. There's some people that can't. Yeah, bro. That's insecurities, though, man. You can't, you can't, you can't dwell on that shit, bro. If you're yeah. going, if it's going, let it go. Está <laughs> bien. If it's going, está bien, bed. No. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of I don't need you, bro. <laughs> Okay. Nah. Nah. nah, bro, that's nah. fucking lit. That ass. Nah, fuck but yeah, that. man, fucking aging, bro. It's, it's a it's a fucking beautiful thing. That's why I listen to elders, dog. That ass. Yeah. Like I'll listen to older people, even if they're like fucking kind of like loopy and shit, because they've been through it. Yeah, for real. They've been through I, shit that you've never shit. fucking been through yet. Yeah. Like I don't know, man. My grandfather always told me like, yo, strap it up, put two two condoms. Oh, but yeah. I heard that's bad. I heard that the condoms just break. <laughs> like I mean, two cry. condoms is fucking. <laughs> he told me condom. two. I mean that. I don't know what type of fucking. Nah, but my grandfather was a whore. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I don't know what type of dirty females he was messing with, but two is crazy. Nah, he but, told me. He but nah, dead ass. It's it's true. Like my grandpa always told me too. Like you know, without the cap, there's no game. Nah, without for the real. ball cap, there ain't no game. Nah, for real. Real shit, cause it's like you never know, bro. Everybody does. Wouldn't deserve to have your kid, even if you know, yeah, they deserve to have some fun with you. That's yeah. how I feel about it. That's true. And back in the day, I feel like I feel like things were different back in the day. I oh, know they were way different, yeah. You know, like it was okay to cheat on your wife. <laughs> 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 guys, guys, let me help. Let me help us out here, yeah. Jimothy. Yeah, it's never been okay to cheat on your wife. 
<laughs> well, I was talking about. It was wrong. just. It was just more accepted oh, socially. Okay. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean I would, yeah. But now, nah, deadass. In my opinion, I don't think it's okay to cheat on your wife, bro. No. No, would you want to be fucking cheated on? Absolutely not. Okay, well then, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, why can't you have that same type of respect for somebody else? Nah, nah, nah. I'm just joking, man. Uh, it's the opposite, though. It's the opposite. What Honestly, do you mean? like, I really feel like like most girls cheat on guys. No, 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 no. I don't think that. I just oh. think that like times are different. Like back in the day, it was more loyal. Nowadays, it's kind of like it's more normal. Like people make jokes. Like I see memes about. Oh, how to cheat on your wife? Like, change the settings of like when you get a text message. Like, I saw that's like a new a new meme that just came out on Twitter where you could change your settings where when it pops up on the message, it doesn't look like it's not coming from. It just says settings, mm. or like you know what I mean, like how the iPhone pops up. Like, nah. they're like, I'm gonna put you on game. Like how? Like I feel like, like I feel crazy. like loyalty still exists, bro. I feel like that what's changed is. A lot of people stopped stopped hiding their feelings, bro. There were a lot of people that were in marriages back in the day that they weren't happy in. But they shut the fuck up. Because that's what you were told that you had to do. They're like, oh, this is marriage. Yeah. It's wrong or right. You got to stay here. Whether they're fucking whooping your ass or whether they're fucking mistreating you and calling you all types of names. You got to shut up because that's your spouse. And you got to take it. That's That was the normal thing. I feel. Like, now, people will leave. <laughs> like, like for real, for real, people are more bound to be like, no, fuck that. I'm not accepting that. I deserve better, and they bounce. But that loyalty shit, bro, it, it, it still exists, man. You just got to find the right person for you. And somebody that understands you, and somebody that understands why you do the things you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, like, I feel like the older you get, like, the wiser you get. Of course. You know what I mean? I mean, not everybody. Not everybody, but... I feel like if you're not getting older, I mean, if you're not getting smarter by the years that grow, like, you know what I mean? I feel like you're just wasting time. You're wasting, you're just a waste because you should be, every day you should be learning something. Yeah, bro. People feel like you get accustomed to only learning at school. And then once school stops, most people stop learning. They stop reading. They stop doing certain things that you should always do. Yeah. Like. Just nah. dropping a simple fact out here, bro. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, one of the richest men on earth, sitting on $140 billion in cash. He spends six hours out of his day every single day, seven days a week reading. That lets you know everything you need to know right there. Facts. That's you crazy. always got to learn, bro. You got to stay learning. You got to stay progressing. Yeah. If you don't, you stay stagnant. You die. Things that stay still die. Facts. Be the student, not the teacher. Facts. Yeah, bro. Like Nipsey said, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're all a student of of life. Like, for real. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We're all studying life. Like, we're just a student at best. Facts. Brand yourself. Like, Leave yourself something that's, you know, it's not about, like, how, how I was watching an interview with Master P. He was just like, yo, it's not about how much money you have. It's literally what you leave on this earth. What, what What's your trademark? What's, what do you leave after you're facts. gone? So people can remember. That's true. That's true. That's that's deep. You know Bro, I mean? you gotta listen to people that are in the position that you wanna be in. And that's where people a lot of people like Pride is a motherfucker. A lot of people have too much pride, bro, where it's like, oh, like who the fuck does this nigga think he is telling me what to do and how to do it? Nigga, he's helping you. He's yeah. telling you, bro, I've been there. Yeah. You might wanna go this route. Yeah. You go this route, you might be fucked. Yeah. But if you go this route, you it's gonna take you a little bit, but you're gonna be successful. Most people they have too much pride to listen, bro. Yeah, and that's something that we all struggle with, bro. Honestly, like that's something I personally got to work on. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I'm hard headed, bro. You know me, dog. Like I don't know. I feel like nobody knows what's best for me but me. Yeah, you know. And sometimes that's not true with certain situations. Somebody might look at your situation and see a way out that you've never even fucking seen before. Yeah, you. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about it like that. You know Fact. what I mean? And there's. It's true. And being open-minded, bro, like, that's something that's, like... Yeah. Like, bro, we all got to work on, too. Like, being open-minded, though, because that yeah. shit's, like... Too many people are closed-minded, bro. Yeah. Shit. That's true. Closed-minded people. You know, you kind of just have to, like... You have to... You have to get... I don't know. You just got to be uh, humble. You know what I mean? You just gotta be, You just got to be humble and, and you know, that, don't judge. Real shit, bro. Don't judge, cause like you know, maybe the it's shit hard, that you're though, doing. Bro. We all judge, man. Yeah, we there's all somebody judge. looking at you, judging you because of the shit that you think that's okay. 
Like, facts. You know what I mean? Like at the That's end of the fact. day, like everybody's gonna look at and point fingers at each other. Like, like you might think it's okay. That it may not be. Who bro, the fuck knows? In my like, opinion, that's the that's the shit that makes humanity beautiful, though, bro. It's like we all are different. Yeah. Like we're all different, bro. There's people that smoke. There's people that don't. There's people that drink. There's people that fucking like to skydive. There's people that like to go hiking. There's people that fucking just like to get money. There's people that you know what I'm saying, like yeah. like to fucking be homeless. They prefer to be yeah. home like everybody's different bro like everybody thinks different it's like we all just gotta accept that we all gotta accept that and realize that we're all on this earth for a reason and we all have a different path and you know like just let people live their path like everybody yeah. doesn't have to travel your path Facts. Like, everybody not, has their own goals yeah like the yeah. way of like your way of making it might not be everybody else's way of making it like you can't be mad at it and you can't try to like force everybody to see your way yeah because you know, you know not I mean? everybody is you like you're exactly yeah. it's you bro that it's might you. that's gonna work for you if you know what works for you go for it Fact. if somebody's coming to you and asking for advice like yo bro like how did you do it then you know drop the knowledge yeah but besides that bro let somebody else live their path you know what i'm saying let yeah. them live their path yeah you know what i mean that's like, true for real, for real. that's very true but yeah, man, it's been fucking, bro. It's, it's been a dope conversation, like always, dog. But we gotta yeah. start wrapping it up. So yeah, seriously. We appreciate you guys for fucking rocking with us again. We're back with some more content, as you see. Go down in the comments and let us know if thumbs you up. guys are rocking with it. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and all that good shit, guys. It's been yours truly. Thank you for checking in, man. Yo, yo, it was John. We out. Peace. We out.